Okay, so here's the uh, Zoller sump pump, and uh, what I've done is I've removed the top, and you can see the impeller shaft and the winding uh, that are going around, I think it's called a stator. Um, I can't remember what the exact parts of the motor are. But uh, that yellow thing on top is what I assume to be a capacitor. And the capacitor has these big gobby goop things uh, that have um, probably evolved, uh, been, been, it's probably overheated and, and exploded. I broke one of them off. You can see there's a, there's a hole in the capacitor right here. That hole right there indicates to me that the capacitor has failed and um, we, we've got a bit of a job to do and uh, repair this motor by replacing that capacitor if possible. I'm not too happy about this. This Zoller pump actually uh, failed um, after less than, I think about three years of service. And uh, the reason I've got this one out now and I'm actually checking into it is because the exact same replacement pump that we put in 25 months ago, uh, two years and one month ago, has now failed as well. And uh, it's got me thinking that uh, there's there's maybe a batch problem here. They may have built a bunch of pumps with a batch of bad capacitors or they may have misspecced uh, the capacitor that's required to do the job on this pump. Uh, either way, I, uh, I'm not too happy with the results of having installed uh, this Zoller pump. Anyway, I will attempt to find out on the internet if there, it's, if it's possible to replace a capacitor like this and see if uh, the pump will work again. Because huh, it cost me 400 bucks. Uh, and change just for the pump itself because this is Canada and everything's more expensive and uh, it also cost me about 180 to 200 dollars for the uh, guys to open the uh, thing and do their replacement I can do it myself I watched the guy do it last time um, and if we have to replace uh, the one that's in the septic right now failing um, I probably do it myself 